What's going on guys, Lon here from Android Authority and Android M was just announced at Google I.O. and there's a lot of different changes and features. So this is my top five best features of Android M. <laughs> So in no particular order, starting off this list at number one is app permissions. So with the way that Android handles permissions right now, you'd have to accept a bunch of different permissions when installing an application, whether you agreed with them or not, in order to install the app. Well, that all changes with Android M. No longer are permissions granted during the installation process, and they're a lot more granular now, so you can actually select which ones you want to allow and which ones you want to deny. Uh, so you have a lot more control uh, with the app permissions. And app permissions are also in-app now, so they only request them when they're necessary. So for example, like WhatsApp asking to use your microphone or Twitter asking to use your camera. Feature number two is app linking. So with app linking, you're no longer going to get that annoying pop-up that asks you if you wanted to open up in Chrome. Chrome beta, uh, Facebook, Twitter, or whatever application it thinks applies to that link. Uh, you're no longer going to get that pop-up and instead it'll actually intelligently analyze that link and open up the application that's appropriate. So for example, if somebody sends you a Twitter link to a tweet and you click on it, it'll automatically just open up Twitter. You also have built-in Chrome tabs now within applications. So if you're in an app like Twitter or Instagram or even Facebook or whatever application and you click an external link to a blog post or something, it'll actually open up the Chrome tab within the application itself. Uh, so it's a lot more seamless. It's not going to open up Chrome separately and all of your Chrome settings and your passwords are still going to be intact within the in-app Chrome tab. Feature number three is called Doze. So if you remember with Android L last year, Google had Project Volta to help with battery life. And this year they have Doze with Android M. So this is supposed to put your device in a much deeper state of sleep to improve standby time. And it uses the built-in sensors in the device to do this. And it does this at the expense of less apps refreshing in the background, but not all functionality is completely lost. Any high priority notifications like alarms and chat notifications will still come through. Coming in at number four is Android Pay. And this is basically Google's answer to Apple Pay, but being able to pay with your Android device isn't anything new. And we've been able to do it ever since the gingerbread days with Google Wallet. But the biggest difference here now is that you no longer have to open up an application like you did with Google Wallet to authenticate the transaction. And this will work with any device running KitKat all the way up to Android M, but it'll work best with devices running Android M with a fingerprint sensor out of the box as Android M has full on fingerprint support. Uh, so you'll be able to use your fingerprint to authenticate the transaction. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that the next Nexus devices will have a fingerprint sensor to fully utilize Android Pay. And Google is working with a bunch of different financial institutions to make sure you can use any debit card of your choice and over 700,000 stores in the US will be compatible with Android Pay as long as they support contactless payment. So anywhere that you see the Android Pay logo or even the NFC logo, you'll be able to use Android Pay. Feature number five is now on tap, and this brings Google Now to virtually anywhere on your Android device. Uh, so even if you're within a third party application or any application rather, you can still do a Google voice search and access Google Now cards within the application. And it's contextually aware, so it actually analyzes what it sees on the screen and will provide you information based on that. So for example, if you happen to be listening to a specific artist on Spotify and you want to know a little bit more about them, uh, it can answer your question without you having to even mention the name of the artist or person out loud. You can also long press on the home button whenever you're within an application to bring up a contextually aware Google Now card. So for example, if you're having a chat with somebody about dinner and a movie and you long press on the home button, it'll bring up relevant information like movie reviews, restaurant reviews, uh, movie times, and restaurant reservations. This is easily my favorite feature of Android M because there's been countless amount of times where I've chatted with somebody about going to see a movie and I had to jump out of my conversation to go to either Google Now or another application to check movie times. And this just makes the experience a lot more seamless and prevents you from having to jump back and forth between so many applications. 
And there you have it guys. This has been my list of the top five best features of Android M. Obviously this is not an all inclusive list. So definitely let us know down below in the comment section, uh, what are your favorite features of Android M? And also give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the website, androidauthority.com for more in-depth coverage because we are your source for all things Android.